Kevin Kiermeyer, Matt Chapman. Those are two banners outside the Rogers Center that very well may not be returning next year as they head into free agency. But the biggest question surrounding the Blue Jays is who made the decision to pull Jose Barrios in game two of their wild card series against the Minnesota Twins when he was having the performance of his career. Those meetings are John Schneider's meetings. He has a group of individuals that he prepares with every day. His process routine, his preparation was no different that day. Uh, the group is the staff that's on the field. It's not the front office. I do not attend these meetings, and I certainly do not make those decisions. When that decision occurred, I found out about it when you did. Do you expect any changes to the coaching staff at all? We've just started to work through that. So John and I spent some time talking about it yesterday, and I'll have more for you the next time we, we meet. But John will be back? Yes. Well, the pitching change has been one of the most controversial pitching moves in Jays history. The stats and results show that that wasn't the biggest issue with the outcome not only of their playoff series, but the Jays' entire season. They struggled defensively, and when it mattered in the playoffs in Game 2, they didn't score a run. Can you add more insight into why the scoring just didn't show up this year, the power didn't show up this year? I, you know, if I could, I, I would have already. Uh, over the course of the year, I expressed my faith in that turning based on history, based on some of the contact quality that we saw. Now I can no longer rest on that belief. Now I have to find a solution, and that's what we'll get to work on. One of the most interesting moments from Atkins' season-ending press conference was when he spoke about free agency. A number of Jays players will be hitting the open market, and this is what he had to say opportunities to add in the free agent class and a really strong group to build upon in a very weak free agent market class. So it's a good year to have a great uh, foundation, you know, as essentially uh, the bulk of our team returning. You know, we'll, we'll miss Matt Chapman and Brandon Belt and Kevin Kiermaier. We'll see opportunities to work to fill those holes from within and externally. Sportsnet's Ben Nicholson-Smith reported later on that Atkins elaborated on those comments off-camera. Atkins said the Blue Jays could absolutely have interest in bringing Kevin Kiermeyer, Matt Chapman, and Brandon Belt back. Well, Atkins spoke on Saturday afternoon. Team President and CEO Mark Shapiro will speak on Thursday. For City News, I'm Lindsay Dunn.